Clare County into southern Ontario. So we are drying out for several hours for now. We do have more wet weather coming with a cold front, and that will be the difference maker with temperatures. We still have a shot at getting near 70 without a lot of sun today, but a warming breeze and dry hours ahead. After 6, 7 p.m., we need to be watching for some heavier showers. Tail end of the evening drive could get soaked by this. That front comes through. We're 48 overnight and then 58 for high temperatures tomorrow. So we are in need of this wet weather and basically with this cool front later tonight, we're expecting anywhere from a quarter to maybe a half an inch of rain in some spots. A lot of this rain we're seeing out of northern Indiana and Ohio is pivoting through our south zone here and into southern Ontario. So most of the area gets that sort of dry break before that cold front comes in. Here's a look at the computer models again, 6, 7 p.m. for some steadier, heavier showers, isolated rumble of thunder through about midnight or 1 a.m. And it does dry out tomorrow. The winds coming off of Lake Michigan are going to try to throw an isolated shower at us here, there, but mostly dry just on the cooler side tomorrow. And Friday looks like we get some sun early with clouds filling in and even a shot at a few showers closer to midnight. Not much here again. Most of your dry day, a Friday, a dry day. You, you hear me? I heard it. All right, so 30s to 50s Friday dry day. Chance for a couple of showers overnight, but if you have tickets to the Michigan game Saturday, should be dry, just cooler in the 50s through the weekend.